Hello everybody and welcome back to the next video in the, in the Strawberry Profile series. Today I am going to be grinding some farming, which is incredibly easy. I spent a couple of seconds just before this video, because I forgot to start recording, just breaking wheat, and it is really an easy skill to level up, as you can see. Alright, if, if you look at this, like, see, it's generating a ton of this stuff. So I'm probably going to try and max out my wheat and seeds collection today, probably. But I'm probably going to end up doing unintentionally, if I'm being completely honest. Like, the amount of wheat you just generate from just, like, wandering around for, like, ten seconds. Right, let's speak to Arthur. Shut up, Arthur. So, as you can see, it is really easy to level up. You just walk around punching stuff. Yeah, I'm always farming level 5. And wheat level 3, which gives you the farming talisman recipe. These level 5, which gives you the fern trade. So. As you can see though, your inventory does fill up with this stuff really quickly. As you can see, my inventory is full. I'm going to need to speak to somebody. I think I, there's an NPC that you can sell to on the farming islands over this way. I will practice some of this stuff. I think there is an NPC over here. Let's see the farmhand. If I speak to the farmhand... This is walk to the bar. Oh, it's any crops. He wants you to craft a wheat minion. I don't think there is actually anywhere to, where I can sell stuff here. I think I'm going to have to go to the hub. So I can actually just fast travel to my hub, to the hub, and just go straight to the hub. Where I will speak to an NPC. And sell the masses of wheat that I've made. If I just go along here, then I can just speak to Rosetta, for example. She's probably wasn't the best choice, and then I just click all of this stuff. And as you can see, that gives me a lot of money. So then I can buy Rosetta's boots, leggings, and helmets, which I wanted from the last video. And now I can take off these really bad iron helmets, speak to Rosetta again, and just sell them. You know? Yeah, if you want a really quick way to make some money, then I have to say... This is the way to do it. I'm now going to go and speak to Maddox, you know, just claim my rewards for doing the Revident Horror 1. Which I think he gives you stuff. No, he doesn't. I don't think. He just speaks to you. And then I can collect my reward. Which I can now go and co to collect. Which I then claim this reward. Or reaching Zombie Slayer level 1. Now I am going to use a commonly used strategy for getting about quickly. If you type slash visit ERTL, this will bring you to this island. This is a player's island that they have made. So I want to head to the barn, which is here. Where I can break anything. It wants me to craft a wheat minion. I don't want to craft a wheat minion. I want to farm carrots. Which is actually quite hard since it's quite a popular one to farm. But if I go up here, you can head over to the desert settlement, break cactuses. But first of all, I am actually going to farm stuff here. So potatoes here, which I can pick up. 
bit and just level up my farming. Like, a lot. There we go, that's potato level 1. I'd see how little effort that just, that took there. So I just hold out this. You know, just run with this. Because oh, it gives me the speed boost that I'm just moving really quickly. I'm just farming absolutely everything at the same time. Farming, I think, is one of the easiest things to grind because, like, you just run this, this. If that's a crafting table anywhere, I will. If there's a crafting table in here, which I don't think there is, but I can just kill these like chickens and pigs. And then I can just kill all this. Well, mine all these carrots, you know? We go like a lot of the carrot collection. I mean, yeah, this place is just. Like, okay, that's carrot level one. That gives me leather. Just the sound these guys make when you kill them is just. Well, it's kind of sad, the sound the pigs make. Like, it makes you regret killing them in a way. Like, you just hit them when they die. Right? But, I mean, it is what it is. It's farming. I mean, this is how it works in IRL, you know? And this actually gives you combat XP. I mean, not much of it, but still some. Because that guy fell off the edge when you kill him. Then it actually doesn't give you the, the loot from it. it. Yeah, see, like I just kill these guys. They give me combat and a bit of farming, actually. You are farming them, to be fair. Like, like, see how they can get out of ox. It's a, that's how the AI works, but it's not exactly like the easiest. There we go, that's combat level 3, or 4, sorry. Once I reach level 5, which is not going to happen very soon. So I'm hoping I get pork drop level 1 soon, which is... Yeah, that's not going to happen very soon. So I am actually going to go back to farming wheat. Yes. The best way of upgrading my farming I have currently. I'm just breaking all of this wheat. There we go, that's farming f uh, s eight there. I just got. So, this is actually a pretty good day. Yeah, so I just walk through all this. Bump all of it, and once my inventory fills up, then I just go sell it. It's that simple. Yep, there we go. Now I got the recipe for enchanted bread. Which is good. Because once I unlock the bazaar, and also this is like free, just free skyblock levels, you know? Just run around br holding out a hunter's knife. Makes, look at how much that makes. Look. I can. Break these, get melons, which are pretty good for making money, not very good for anything else. Now we're actually going to go to the desert settlement now, and get some more farming there. Like, yeah, so I just go to the desert settlement, I think there are NPCs over here. And it wants me to speak to the desert in hand, so like I speak to this guy. That's a friendly hiker. This is just... It's where it wants you to collect stuff here. I'm going to return to the hub and sell all of my stuff. First of all, because as you can see, my inventory is full. Like, I can quite literally not carry anymore. I'm probably just going to use this area to get weed. Because, like... It's close to everything. It doesn't take a long time to get to. I just... Just 
click on everything in my inventory, essentially. Yeah, see? Already on like 22 grand. Which I think is enough to get you boots with some, some decent enchants on. But I'm not sure. Is it enough to get us? But I know that some of the people I know, um, they use the garden a lot, which I think is a good idea. But I just want to see, like, what are the rewards for, like, fully maxing out the wheat collection, you know? So if I just look here, um, my collections, my farming collections, it's wheat. It's, here you get the tightly tied hay bale, a large and tight agronomy sack. A large agronomy sack there, farm armor, um, medium agronomy sack, and charge hay bale, and a small agronomy sack for wheat, uh, that's seven, uh, yeah, because I'm at wheat six currently, um, excuse the farming island recipe, but yeah, I'm just gonna break some wheat, and, and yeah, at the next level I'll probably have maxed out wheat collection, so see you then.